Now to that breaking news and the verdict in the trial for actor Jonathan Majors and the jury returned a mixed verdict but found Majors guilty of assaulting and harassing his then girlfriend Grace Jabari. The attack which happened in the back of an SUV in Chelsea last March was caught on surveillance video and shown to jurors by prosecutors. Majors a significant star in Hollywood is now facing time behind bars. I would news reporter Darla Miles was in the courtroom in lower Manhattan for today's verdict. Darla. Well, Liz, jurors really split hairs on this verdict. There were two misdemeanor counts of assault and two misdemeanor counts of harassment they had to consider. Ultimately, they decided that Majors was not intentional when he uh, got into a scuffle in the backseat of the SUV with his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, and that he did not intentionally harass her. However, they did find he was reckless when they got outside of the SUV, and that is why he was found guilty of one count of assault and of harassment. Now, this trial started exactly two weeks ago today, and today was the first full day of jury deliberations after both sides rested their case last Thursday. As you mentioned, and as we just saw, Liz, this case really hinged upon that surveillance video of Jabari and Majors outside of the SUV after she got upset, admittedly got upset, after reading his text message on his cell phone from another woman uh, saying, I wish I was kissing you right now. She tried to grab his phone. That is when the altercation ensued. Both got out of the car. Majors then tried to put Jabari back in the car twice, and then he ran off. Now, prosecutors showed pictures of Jabari's injuries. They showed a bruising on her neck and on her finger and a cut behind her ear. But all the while, Majors' attorneys painted Jabari as the aggressor in this in this entire situation, but Majors ultimately did not testify on his own behalf. Right after the verdict was rendered, District Attorney Alvin Bragg issued a statement which reads in part, today a jury determined that a pattern of abuse and coercion culminated with Mrs. Major, Mr. Majors assaulting and harassing his girlfriend. We thank the jury for its service and the survivor for bravely telling her story despite having to relive her trauma on the stand. Uh, right now, we're still waiting for Majors and his attorney to leave the courtroom. He may have already done so. They're right down the street behind me. He will be back in court on February 6th for sentencing. As you mentioned, Liz, this does this misdemeanor conviction does include jail time, but it's very, very unlikely that a first-time offender in this case would receive jail time in this case. And he didn't even have to go to trial in the first case, but first place. But one thing that Jonathan Majors wanted to do to salvage his career, his integrity, and reputation was to go to trial to prove his innocence. Grace Jabari was not in court today for the reading of the verdict.